Hello, my name is Eddie Toffby. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International. And here is your weekly technical analysis of New York and London coffee markets. I'll start with New York coffee. As I said before, I didn't suspect an immediate fall, as we had three weeks ago. But I think you can tell from my tone at the time I was having doubts. These doubts were fostered by the many countering actions on an intra-interday level out to a third degree and indicative of heavy indecision. It was the bearish Sharamit had reached the third countering level that was the surest sign of indecision. That Tuesday was it and prices subsequently dropped. At the time of the drop I also outlined where a possible pullback might go down to and I quote, the very recent 50% Fibonacci line at 182 and three quarters amidst the last gap would be a useful guide for a pullback. The only issue with that is as prices rise, so does the value by a factor of half. Well, prices reached that and went lower. This could have been due to two things. Firstly, an overshoot, in which case we'd see a pacification of the market. Or well, secondly, move down to fulfill the only gap left in the move up between 168.45 and 169.55. It seems the market chose the former and solidified at the interesting lesser 61.8% Fibonacci line for July at 174.45. Since then, especially Monday last week, when we had a combined key reversal up and bullish engulfing pattern, we've seen a move back up. Prices have exceeded the July 50% Fibonacci line at 182.82.75, but oddly have come up against some resistance at the 2015 high at 187.40. I've also drawn a very acutely angled bullish shift pitchfork for the July action. What I've drawn your attention to is how the market has not breached the lower time, currently 188.70. It is already, it's already breached that how the market has tracked along the lower time itself and or its new partner, the short moving average, currently at 188.70. For the moment, they are giving the bullish angle of attack, even though they're broke of this market. And looking topside, the most recent 50% of Bernard Chines at 196.20. and would seem reasonable resistance. I'm just wondering if this market has the legs to get up. London Coffee. I have deliberately left the broken early April to mid-May bullish Andrews pitchfork on this daily chart. In the recent past, this pitchfork has been crucial in setting the timing for the moves higher. But having broken both the upper time, currently at 2027, and the lower time, currently 1874, you'd think it would be no longer valid. However, not so. Most recently, the broken lower time has started to once again indicate the bullish angle attack of this market. Now, it may only last a few days or weeks. However, whilst it works, I'll keep it. Right now, the market is not only having to deal with this broken lower time, but also with the 50% Fibonacci line for the recent move down at 1868. So I suppose it is no surprise to see some hesitation around here. This may also mean that I need to draw a new super acute July to date bullish Andrews picture or a shallower bullish shift picture. Personally, I'd rather not, at least for now until I find out what last week's hesitation in the 1830-1860 area really means. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives you central market facts and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.